Hey, so uh, just finished doing something that might sound really crazy, um, but truthfully, some of the things you do in Medicine 3.0 do sound crazy. Um, so I did a low-dose CT screening test for lung cancer. Now, this is actually one of the few tests that is recommended by Medicine 2.0 for cancer screening, but only in the context of smokers and former smokers. And the reason for it is it has been demonstrated to reduce mortality associated with lung cancer, which of course is one of the leading uh, causes of mortality associated with smoking. So you might ask, as uh, a non-smoker and as a never smoker, why would I do this? Well, um, most people don't realize this, but while lung cancer is far and away the leading cause of cancer death, if you look at lung cancer in never smokers, it is the seventh leading cause of cancer death. Let me restate that. If you take lung cancer and break it into those who smoke or have smoked and those who have never smoked, the former would still be the leading cause of death. The latter would only fall to number seven on the list. So while prostate cancer and breast cancer uh, and colon cancer and pancreatic cancer would be above, lung cancer would still be a leading cause of death in never smokers. Now, it's also about two to two to one more likely in women than men. And so I brought her with me to get it done as well. And honestly, I think that the risk of this test um, can be broken down as follows. Obviously it's not covered by insurance because I'm not a smoker. If you are, it is covered by insurance. So you should get it done. So the out of pocket was 195 bucks. Um, so chalk that up to one less dinner out. Um, the radiation is trivial. It's about one millisievert on a good scanner. So that's a rounding error and means nothing. Uh, the real risk of this study, um, which does not involve contrast or anything like that, is the false positives. And so there's a very good chance that the radiologist is gonna say, there's an unidentified granuloma that measures four millimeters in your lung and we will need to follow it. To which I say, I don't care because I plan to do this test every year anyway, and we will follow said non-cancerous granuloma indefinitely. And by the way, anything that's there that's big enough that I should care about, I want to care about. So um, again, very controversial point of view I have on this, but of course my views on cancer screening tend to be controversial, uh, but nevertheless, that's my point of view on this. And I suspect I am heavily influenced by the fact that I have known three non-smokers who have um, died from adenocarcinoma of the lung. And uh, I think you just can't help but be influenced by the question, what would have happened if those cancers had been caught, in, uh, had been caught sooner?